Alex, good night. How are you? Hi, Alex. Hi, teacher. Good night, sir. How you doing? Yeah. Very good. Um, uh, I see only I in in <laughs> in, 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 in the in you <laughs> and in the meeting. <laughs> in which meeting? Right now? Yeah, only two participants. Two, two participants, you and me. Ah, oh, yeah, don't worry. They will come up. <laughs> they will, they will uh, continue. They will enjoy the class. Don't worry about that. <laughs> but it will uh, be teacher. nice because it will be one on one session, just you and me, me and you. <laughs> hey, what happened teacher. to you yesterday? Okay. Yeah, good. But um, uh -huh. yesterday I uh, was to go to um, the supermarket and do oh. and don't if it was difficult for connecting and in the in the meeting yeah so, i understand yeah. so yesterday was the shopping day yeah okay so, yeah uh, i can imagine and due to the traffic right yeah yes complicated but i'm so okay. happy that you're here yeah yesterday alex i uh share with all of you guys uh, the link for uh the youtube channel but the, the list for our class videos. So you can just mm -hmm. click on that one and you will be able to double check yesterday's class. Oh, okay. Do you, you, you should have it on the email that you received before uh, this model starts. And if not, what I'm gonna do, I will share with, with you guys again, just for you to have it, hey, Alex. Because um, when you don't, when you cannot join the class for any reasons, it, like um, personal things or family issues, or basically, um, in this case, it was the time to <laughs> to go right and and do your shopping. And even though you can check the the video later on, because I I upload the videos uh, every night, every night, a. Uh, at 11, no longer than 11 p.m., they're already on the on the YouTube channel, yeah? So you can like double check the same day at night or because you are really sleepy, <laughs> to more, the next day, really early morning is already there, okay? So yeah, I sent it, I gave it to you yesterday, right guys? But but uh, Alex was not here and also Evie was not, wasn't here. So I share, I'm sharing right now with you again in order for you to have it. So you can check at yesterday's class, Alex, when you click on that link. It will be our fifth class. Today is gonna be our sixth class. Yeah, can you imagine? Remember, we just started like a, a week and one day ago, and this week is going to be our second week. And then after this week, only two weeks more, and then we finish. How amazing, right? Time passed really, really fast. Gerardo, are you drinking a cup of coffee today or your cup of tea? Hello. Hello. No, teacher. No, it's a uh, instantaneous juice. Yes. Oh, really? Orange juice? No, uh, no, uh, strawberry. Strawberry juice. Oh, that's cool. Is is it is it hot where you live right now? Is it hot? Yes. Yeah. Yes, because I live in Quetzaltepec. Oof. Oh, yes. But you know what? Uh, well, here in the afternoon around four, it was raining. And then it stops raining on 530 and it starts raining again. And it was raining a few minutes ago and then it stopped raining. So I don't know. Maybe it's going <laughs> to rain where you live later on, maybe after class. In, in this place or in this, in this city or in... Or in my in my where in you my live uh-huh uh -huh. in, in, in around around the my house the raining is very hard hard really with, oh. with uh, wind uh, uh, thunder oh my uh, god it's so scary yes but you know what it's really nice it's because of, well if you have if your house is in good condition right because um it it makes you fe uh, feel like good when you go back to sleep i love when it's raining and you're sleeping 
it feels really good because 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 when uh, finish the rain mm -hmm. the house is permanently hot always really yes Oof. so you said that if it's rain it's good see it's raining is good but no for the for the weather in internal the house ah yes yes because it feels like humid right humid yes yes yeah i can imagine that you know what when you're living that happens the same in um have you ever ever have you ever guys visit panama no yes uh, i visit panama visit, i don't like panama weather at all me, me too nah. you know what the problem is guys the most of the panama city especially the the downtown right there's like, uh, what? There's no earth. There are no trees. So when it when they rains a lot, people got uh, upset because after it stops raining, all the humid goes up and yes. then the weather is worse. It's hotter. Uh, you cannot imagine. Yes. Because uh, there is no earth for the for the rain to like absorb the water. So it's everything is like cement. So it's complicated. It, it, so so it, there you it, should it, have an air conditioner at home and on your car. Yes, for, for the weather is a dry heat. Yes, the problem is that, do you remember Eduardo, that uh, Panama is flat? And they have like the two oceans. We have the Pacific and we have the Atlantic Ocean. So basically it's like living in Libertad, like that. But Only, with San Miguel weather. Oh, neither here. Think exactly. Yes. No, but it's worse, Gerardo. It's war. Panama is worse. Yes, Panama is the world is worse. You know what? I was like these guys. I was like this to move to Panama, like uh at uh, three years ago like this like this but for some reason it didn't make it and i was yes because i will be suffering because of my sinu Sinus. because in my case i have an allergy problems with sinu but it's related to humid caused by the hot weather no but the cold weather so for me hot weather is not good it's not good for my health i, ha I got a headache every time that i go to the really hot weather it's because it's your hot. Uh huh. That's why you like it. <laughs> I feel like a Russian girl right now. <laughs> you know what? My mama made it for me. She made it for me. She, there is one handcraft that she can do it. Yeah. So I like it. I like it. You know what? Because I used to work in a call center, right? So um, I used to have a different schedules, and. Uh, when you are full time in a call center, you already have your own spot. But there were some times when I had to be it to be like a part time job. So in that case, you don't have your own spot. You just arrive and you see it whatever is empty, right? So sometimes it depends on the call center, of course. So sometimes in the spot that I was sitting, I have it over or above my head the air conditioner. Wow. So I have to like wear my hats, not only for fancy purposes, but as because I love hats, but uh, for my sinus problems. So I asked my mama, mama, please made like a different color, hat colors in order for me to uh, like join with my outfit, right? So I have uh, red ones, I do have the um, white ones, black ones, uh, which one I'm missing? Oh yes, beige. I'm, I need beige and brown, and that would be fine. You know what? I will, I'm looking for like um, dark green color. Everything making for your mom. Yes, my mama. This my mama made it for me. She okay. just she said that she put her finger like this, and she started doing it. To be honest with you, I don't know how she does it, because I'm a person who really uh, uh, have like um, what can I say? Abilities. Analytic abilities, analytic abilities. I love to read, I love to analyze, I love technology, etc. 
but I don't have abilities with my hands. Well, yes, I can take pictures and I can I can paint, I can draw, I can paint, but uh, nothing to do with handcraft like like this, like crochet or uh, something related to the, the, with your hands. I cannot do. I don't have that ability. My sister has this ability, and also my niece. But in my case, I'm more like my dad's size, analytic. You know what? I remember that when he might, one of the times that my daughter was here in El Salvador, and we want to like, uh, like, uh, like a paint on the wall, right? On the wall. And he was to put like, um, oh, you say that. I'm going to say, oh, yes. Uh, clavo, right? Clavo on the wall so you can put a, a, a picture. And my dad said, why don't you do call uh, Mr. Jose? Jose was one of the guys that do everything at our house. If something needs to repair, we, we call Mr. Jose. If the toilet, something happens, we call Mr. Jose. So he said, my, my dad said, call Jose and ask to put, to make a hole there and put the clavito and then put the picture. And my mom said, come on. I'm going to call Jose just for that. No. So what, what my mama did. Okay. She used the taladro. Right. She put the clavito. Right. And hang the picture. She, my mama said, why am I going to pay Jose to do something that is simple? Why you don't do it? No, because I don't want to say my dad. <laughs> Can you imagine? So my dad was really practical. He's really practical. But my mama was like, no. Well, my mama said, no, I'm going to do it myself. Everything activity, Don yeah. Jose. Yeah, everything. If you want to paint something, Jose. If you want to build a house for a dog, Jose. Jose. So everything was Jose. And my mama said, no. When my dad passed away, we were like six girls, no, five girls and one boy. But every everybody was like, wasn't working. Everybody was like, mama, I need for your help, right? So my mom said, okay, your dad is not here anymore. We gotta pretend that your dad is doing a long trip because basically that was his lifestyle. And uh, we're not gonna ask for somebody to come and do things for us. We have, we have five girls. Everybody has our hands. So right now we need to start doing this, the things by ourselves. Okay. Five girls and one Yeah, man. And, one, and yes, my, the oldest one. My, he, <laughs> now he's, let me check, he is, 50 years old, almost 50 years old. But I'm the youngest one. I'm the youngest one. He's the youngest too. Yeah, I'm the youngest. <laughs> Can you imagine? I'm the youngest. Thank God. All right. So my mom said, no, if, if something needs to do on the toilet or, or the, on the cabin or whatever, we're going to do it. We're going to paint the, the house walls. We're going to do this. We need to learn how to do it and to be independent. You know what? I think really appreciate and thank my mom because she taught me a lot. I know how to do things. For example, uh, we recently do like a second room here in our house. So I bought the paint and I painted myself. I didn't ask somebody to come because I, I have to do it. I can't do it. Yeah. It's very, very steady. Yeah, yeah. And you know what? Since my job is really, how you said, mentally stressful, uh, I use the painting activity like as a relaxing activity mm -hmm. for me to, to like, maybe I can say as a goofy, go, you know what goofy activity is? The goofy? You know what goofy oh. is? Do you remember goofy? The, the cartoon ah, yes. personage? Like, uh -huh, uh -huh, uh -huh. remember that? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So when you say goofy things, it's like, like uh, things that are what what you need it is not it necessary is not for you to think exactly i think okay. it's not require i require uh, your, your mind right oh, uh -huh. okay. something that will help you relax or change your routine a little bit like that those are goofy things for example in my case if i have the ability to to do things with my hand that will be a goofy activity for me mm. but in this case my goofy activity for me is to paint a house Right, mm -hmm. so that's what I did. I paint a house every every weekend. I um I jump I I I stand up the the one of the beds of the house 
I stand up, I clean everything, I move everything there. Yeah, Oops, you cannot imagine. I do a lot of things. And I put it again. And then I move it another place. I change the pictures. I change everything. I clean this, I clean that. Oof, you cannot imagine. Yes. So, and I have a, another project because I have a, a, a mini backyard that right now is like a little bit disaster. <laughs> but I plan to, to redesign it, if I can say that, redesign it. So basically, but right now it's raining, right? So I need I I cannot do it anything right now so far, but I'm going to re redesign it, leave plants, leave trees of course, and leave space for my pets. <laughs> yes, because always here in my house, my pets are part of my family. They are my family. They are my babies. So every place that I redesign or reconstruct, I always think about them. So th there's a space for them, all the time. Right now, Chestnut is next to me, giving classes. You, 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 have, you have the soul of designer, the interior designer. I think so. I think so. You know what? Uh, well, maybe I will show it to you later on. I just try to like, <laughs> I stick something here, pretending to be like a uh, um, scissor tree or arbol de cerezo. Mm -hmm. Because I love Japanese culture a lot. And hopefully I'm going to learn Japanese. No, well, not Japanese, no, Mandarin, Mandarin. I want to learn Mandarin. Okay. So, mm -hmm. yes, I'm trying we to do that. Love. I love okay. it. We can there, are, there is pink. Yes. I think you can. Can you see it, guys? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yes, yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, there's right now, I have just bought. The materials and I just stick on the wall, but I I need to like have like a picture in order for me to buy the material in the painting and I and I will continue drawing. I want to draw something on my wall. I love to to drink to draw. I love it, and I love to take pictures all the time. I love camera. That's why I'm journalist. But I specialize, I, I love to take pictures about creation. Teacher, Passages, you can, talks, and everything. Yeah, go ahead. You can, you can go, you can, you can go to Dollar City. Oh, yes, because of course. I buy, 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 buy it, everything. Yes, you know what? I bought most of the things there, but the, <laughs> the stick, the sticker, that is pretending to be the part of the tree. I had to ask one of my friends to uh, design it for me because it's a special design to stick on the wall. And also because sometimes the wall can get humid because of the rain. Do you understand what I'm saying? What I'm saying? <laughs> ¿Sí? A veces puede estar húmeda la pared, humid because of the rain. So there's a special sticker. It's una, it's una calcomanía especial. Sí. Entonces estuve que ir donde una amiga. <laughs> I like it. Cuando te esté terminado, I will show it to you. Okay, I promise. Okay, okay, okay. Um, but right now, <laughs> use your imagination. <laughs> All righty, very good. Uh, so guys, yesterday, do you remember that we saw a really interesting topic? And it was about infinities, right? And gerunds, right? To express the purpose of or something. For example, the purpose of cell phone, the purpose of mouse, X and the purpose of the earphones, right? Etc. But do you remember, guys, today that we are going to focus on two uh, skills to develop? Right now, what I want to focus on is to the pronunciation or a specific um, technology devices, such as satellite, for example, right, Nuvi? Remember that it was like a, a hard uh, word to pronounce it, satellite, because you write one know. way, but you pronounce it in a different way. So this class, even though, guys, we will continue with, um, with, with gerunds and uh, infinitives, we're going to continue with the pronunciation of some words that are really important to learn. But at the same time, we're going to add 
something else in our knowledge today. And we're going to learn something about imperatives. And also, guys, we're going to learn how we can use imperatives and infinitives to provide okay. suggestion. But not, not an easy suggestion, a polite suggestion. Because sometimes you can say, hey, you can do this. You can do that. Yes, and it's correct. However, if you like to sound more like polite and fancy, but at the same time, you would like to sound more professional and polite when you are suggesting somebody to do something, <laughs> it's better when you combine infinitives with imperatives. And that's what we're gonna do today. So we're gonna focus guys on pronunciation and at the same time, we're gonna develop our listening skill. But before I continue, may I ask you something? Do you know what is an imperative? What is an imperative? Who can tell me? Or who, who remembers? I know, don't I know just one of the time. Everybody wants to participate. I understand that. Yeah, you I, are an amazing student. Go ahead, Nelsie. I, I, I think that uh, I remember that must be, have two imperatives. No, mm, no those are like obligations first. Mm -hmm. Obligation, yes. But you have a kind of idea. Uh -huh. But don't worry, don't worry. That's okay. Good for, job. For example, uh -huh, uh, clean, clean up, clean up your, uh, your, for example, your house. Aha, aha. And it's an um, action word. Aha, okay. And we, and we use uh, in infinitive. Uh, the word to, uh -huh. for example, yes. mm -hmm. to clean, to go. Exactly, Nubi. That's what we saw yesterday. To clean, to work. Exactly. That is infinitive. But Nubi, Ivis, and Nelsie gave us a clue. You know what clue is? Pista. Blue clues, la pista de blue. ¿Se recuerda? Nicolás. <laughs> yeah. yes. if, you, if you have dogs. kids, you know that. Uh -huh. Blue dogs. Exactly. Blue dogs and pink. And pink. <laughs> exactly. So remember, clues, pistas. Because Ivy said uh, verbs. Another one says actions. Another one's like must have to. Mm -hmm. Even though they're it, must and have to are not imperatives, but you gave us an idea. Imperatives, guys, we use it to provide an order to to not to ask somebody to do something to tell somebody to do something like for example mothers or alex or gerardo you're a dad so you have to say to your kids hey what happened to you mm -hmm. uh-huh go to your room go to bed for example uh-huh or, or, or pick, pick up pick up the toys Pick uh -huh. up your clothes. Exactly. You're as your command, right? Un order, un, un obligation, right? Por eso que es casi como must and have. La idea que nos dio Nelsie. Aunque must and have no son uh, imperatives, pero sí da la idea de obligation, ¿sí? Que you have to. Muy bien. However, si te recuerdas, if you remember, uh, imperatives has a particular thing. Tiene algo en particular. With imperatives, guys, we do not use subject. ¿Te recuerdas que no usamos sujeto con imperativo? Sí, no usamos. No decimos, you go to sleep. No, go to sleep, pick up your things, go to bed, turn down the TV. Sí, me dice, Solo, la oración es solo empiezan con verbo. No empiezan con sujeto, en un imperativo. Porque imperativo es que tú das una orden, así como en los soldados. Es exactly the same. Pero no te preocupes, Alex. 
Que a Alex casi le, se le cae el pelo. No, 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 no. Don't worry. Thank you, Ivy. Thank you, Nubi. No, no es eso. Aunque solitos, ¿sí? Solitos. Ah. Los infinitivos es una cosa, imperativos es una cosa. Pero cuando los unimos, ya van a ver qué bonito sale y suena. Entonces, I'm connecting in the class. Ah, I'm, co I'm connecting aquí. Ok, very yeah. good. So don't worry, don't get panic, ¿sí? No se preocupen. Solamente quería hacer un recap para saber si ustedes tienen una idea de qué es un imperativo. ¿Sí? ¿Qué es un... Y el okay. infinitivo lo acabamos de ver. Así que no me digan que no saben porque me, me da un ataque gramatical. Ok, very good, guys. So, welcome, Miguelito, welcome, Bree, welcome, Dinita, welcome, Boris, Jesse, Linda, Rocío, B, and Ivis. Welcome, guys. Welcome, Nubi. Okay, guys. So, uh, let's start. Okay, the first thing that we're going to do, we're going to focus on the pronunciation. But I'm going to do something right now. Since we are developing as well our listening skill, the first listening part, I'm just going to put only the audio. Okay? Only the audio. Okay. So, I'm going to give you a recommendation. Right? What suggestion? Um, don't open your eyes when you are listening. Close your eyes and try to concentrate on the audio. Okay? Okay. And, and the second time that I'm going to play the audio, you will be able to open your eyes because I will, I will give it to you the writing part and the listening part. But right now, since you are just listening, Please don't uh, distort or distract with anything. Focus on the listening part. That's just what I want. And then we're going to come back, okay? So let me just a couple of minutes. Woo -woo. Okay, there you go. There you go. Okay, ready? Ready. All righty, that's what I need. Page 45, exercise four, pronunciation. Syllable stress, part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Messages. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. All right. Page Did you close your eyes? Oh, yes. yes. Look at Gerardito. He looks like he's sleeping. <laughs> okay. In the case of <laughs> Ivy, Dinita, Miguelito, Bree, Jesse, Boris, Linda, Rocio, and B, I will try to use my imagination <laughs> because I cannot see your beautiful faces, guys. So I don't know if you are able to close your eyes or not. Okay. So, guys, eh, the first time it's really hard to identify where I need to put the stress, right? The stress when I pronounce it. You know what a stress is? La pronunciación más fuerte, the stress syllable, yeah? It's difficult, right? But, but guys, I'm, go I'm gonna share right now with you now the images, the, the words, and I'm gonna play the audio one more time because not all the time vamos a pronunciar el stress syllable in the same part of the word. Vamos a pronunciarlo de manera diferente. Depends of the word. Depends if it's like one syllable, two syllables, three syllables, and so on. So I'm going to share right now with you my screen once again. And I'm going to play the audio. All right. You see, guys? We have yes. three. See, in this case, if you can see it, guys, we do have like a three different columns, right? Uh, this one, uh, let me check it out. Let me put it here really quickly. There you go. Okay, this is why I need this. This one, guys, the big bowl means that on this part of the sentence or the word, you need to put the strongest pronunciation, right? The stress syllable. In the second one, the stress syllable will be in the middle. And in the last one, the stress syllable will be at the end of the word, okay? So what I'm going to do right now, guys, I'm going to play the audio one more time. And please focus on the screen. And I want you guys to pay attention at the pronunciation of each word for each 
um, column. Okay, are you ready? Or no? Ready. All righty. Pronunciation. Syllable stress. Part A. Listen and practice. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Messages. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. Guys, would you like me to play it one more time, or is that okay? One more time. One more time? One more time. One more time. One more time. All right, one more time. As four, pronunciation. Can you see it on my screen? Syllable stress. Yes. Part A. Yes. Okay. Listen yes. and practice. Okay. Notice which syllable has the main stress. Satellite. Internet. Satellite. Messages. Just listen. Invention. Assignment. Computer. CD-ROM. Engineer. Entertain. All right. Okay, guys, very good. So can we start with the first column? Repeat after me, satellite. 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 Internet. Satellite. Internet. 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 Messages. 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 Okay, now only you guys. You're gonna repeat the three one more time. Only you, one, two, three, go. Satellite. Messages. 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 Very good. Exactly. Very good. So you see, guys, the pronunciation of these three sentences or three words are in the first part. Sa in me. You see? Okay, let's go back to the middle one. Who's sleeping? Bree, are you sleeping? No, me. <laughs> Who me? Nuvi? Or Nelsie? Nelsie. I Nelsie. No know. way. You're not gonna speak. You're not gonna sleep with me. Okay. Don't yes, yes, yes. Uh-huh. Yes, yes. Okay, the second one. Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Computer. 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 Very good. If you see guys, the stress part of the stress syllable is in the middle. It's been singing pew. Right? Okay, so now it's your turn. Go ahead, guys. Invention. Invention. Computer. Very good. Guys, repeat this one, please. Assignment. 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 Uh -uh. Assignment. 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 Very good. ¿Saben por qué le dije? Porque no escuchaba la t at the end. La t. Assignment. Eso. Si no la escucho, olvídense. Porque tiene que pronunciarse la T al final. Very good job. Now let's go with the third column. CD room. Engineer. Room. Entertain. So now is your turn, guys. CD room. No, 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 no. no. With energy. Come on. Once again. Very good. Now, guys, congratulations. Good job. Ooh, ooh. Now, I'm going to play another one, but this is going to be a little bit tricky. Va a ser algo tricky, un truquito. Porque, you see, Alex is like, bravo, guys, bravo. I'm so proud of you. Okay, but this one's, guys, Es bien complicado porque I'm just going to play the audio. ¿sí? I'm going to play the audio only two times. Y eh, después le voy a preguntar en cuál de las tres columns creen ustedes que va cada palabra. ¿sí? En la una, dos, otras. So you gotta pay attention to the listening part. See? Oh, you see? Okay. <laughs> mala. No, I'm a really good teacher. Casi, ah, sí, teacher, casi no tan colapso usted. Fíjense que las, oigan bien, las, um, 
Las palabras son una, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis. Se las voy a compartir porque yo soy bien buena onda, fins. Ah, sí, teacher. ¿Cómo no? Vamos a ver. Yes. Let me know as soon as you receive it. Okay, bear with me for a moment, guys. I'm going to send it to you right away. Give me just a moment. I need to search for the group. There you go. Okay. Let me know as soon as you have it, okay? All right. I just sent it to you. Could you please be so kind to let me know if you guys receive it? I receive it. Yes. Yeah. I receive it. Okay, that's awesome. Okay. So if everybody, this does everybody has it? Does everybody have it? Yeah? Miguelito, Nelsie, yes. Gerardo, Dini, yes. Nelsie, Boris, okay, yes. cool. Yes. All right, all right, okay. Ya, teacher, apure, apurese. Bye, okay. <laughs> <laughs> all righty, so let me play the audio right now. And then we're going to identify in which of the three columns should be. All righty, there you go. Page 45, exercise four, part B. Where is the stress in these words? Mm -hmm. Add them to the columns in part A, then listen and check. Directions. DVD. Media. Telephone. Transmission. Understand. Uh-huh. One more time or is it okay? One more time, please. One more time. One more time. Play again, please. Play it again. And if I don't want to, no, just kidding. <laughs> Teacher, don't be like that. No, I'm just kidding, guys. I'm just kidding. I'm going to give it to you one person. I'm a good teacher, I told you. Sometimes I think, but yes. All right. Give me just one moment. I need to do something with my computer. There you go. Okay, so then put it one more time. There you go. Page 45, okay. exercise four. Part B. Where is the stress in these words? Add them to the columns in Part A, then listen and check. Directions. DVD. Media. Telephone. Transmission. Understand. Uh-huh. Okay, guys. So... One more time. One more time. No. <laughs> time. No way. The, the, the last. The last. No way. No. I'm, 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 a, bad I'm a bad teacher. I'm a bad teacher. But I'll ask one play. No way. <laughs> and I'm a good one because it's supposed to play it only one time. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. And you know what? I'm doing this because you have to like develop that skill. Don't worry. Try to use your imagination or try to do your best. Okay, so let's go back, guys. Let me share right now my screen. And then we're going to think about which column that word should go. Okay, so let me just a couple of minutes. Let me go back. Ooh, okay, there you go. There you go. Okay. So the first one, guys, what is the word? Directly. Yes or no? Direction. 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 Direction or direction? Direction. Uh -huh. direction. So first, second, or third column? Second, second column. First. Second. 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 Direct. Yeah. Yes, first you column. said direction. Direction. Right? All righty. Yes. Very good job. All right. What about the second, the second word? What is it? DVD. DVD. The third column. The third column. The third column. Okay, the third column. DVD, like this? Media. Uh -huh. Media. Media. Number one. Media. 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 Yes. Media. Number one. Okay, let's see. Yes. There you go. Okay, you said media, like that? Yeah. Yes, teacher, like that, pero póngalo mejor. Yes. <laughs> All right, media. What is the next one? Telephone. 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 
So which one it is? Number one. The number one, right? Telephone. Yes. Telephone. The first one. The first one. First, the first one. All righty. How you spell telephone? T E L E P A G H O N E. Very good. What about the next one? Transmission. 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 Second. Second. Second, Second, Second one. one. Yeah. Transmission with double N, right? Yeah. Double double, no, double, double S. S. Double S. Uh, no, I'm just I'm asking. I'm, I, you see, <laughs> I'm a tricky uh, teacher. And the last one, understand. Third. Number three. Third column. Ah, oh, very three good. Column. Understand. understand. Like that, right? All right. Very good. So, guys, let's practice the whole words, okay? The first one. Let's go with the first one. Okay. Satellite. Satellite. Internet. 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 Messages. 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 Media. 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 Television. 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 Invention. 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 Assignment. 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 Computer. 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 Directions. Directions. Transmission. Transmission. See the room. See the room. Engineer. Entertain. 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 DVD. DVD. Entertain. Entertain. Understand. 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 Very good. You are you bravo. Congratulations. So you see now, guys, it's really important. You, let me ask you something. Of the words that we have practiced the pronunciation the listening parts, are there uh, common for you? Or there are some words that you don't that you didn't know? Son comunes o hay algunas que ustedes no sabían? Are common. Ah, yes, common. Common, common, common. words. <laughs> excuse me. All right. Okay, so righty. Okay, oh, excuse me. Uh, <laughs> okay, no, I'm just asking because sometimes it is the first time that you listen to them, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so what is brand new for you guys is the pronunciation, right? Yeah, the pronunciation. Uh -huh. okay. You see that we have three possible categories. Yeah, so depends. Very good. That's why we are practicing the pronunciation because it's really important. It's really important not only to know the, the word and the meaning of the word, but also pronounce it correctly. It's really, really important. All righty. So let me double check really quickly. Now, guys, that we have practiced that and we have started our listening part, I'm going to play a dialogue with you. And it, it's, this dialogue is really fun, you know? It's being <laughs> como medio, medio divertido. Why? Um, me acordó a mí. <laughs> Cuando empezaba a ver la tecnología. <laughs> okay, because sometimes, guys, for example, um, cuando yo no sabía usar un aparato inteligente, en el ejemplo, right? Y tú dices, ¿y a dónde le marco, right? ¿Y por qué no suena? <laughs> y es porque no le has puesto col. <laughs> Así, like, <laughs> oops, right? So, do you remember, guys? Uh, when we have our first cell phones, ¿se recuerdan los primeros yeah. celulares? Right? Mm -hmm. Que eran yeah. como, como blocks, como ladrillos de este vuelo, right? <laughs> Remember yeah. that? Yeah. And then comes, guys, the new generation. In a generation, now they're, they're like this. Y hay unos más chiquitos, right? Like this. Of course, more expensive. Mm -hmm. Pero cada uno como que tiene sus functions, right? Y uno dice, ¿dónde le doy? Y nuestros hijos, ay, papá, vení para acá. Mira, le abrías aquí, le das aquí, clic, y ya está. Y vos, uh, right? Ok. Entonces, este dial es parecido, similar. Pero en este caso son dos amigos. Que alguien quiere o, a, oír a hacer una llamada, pero como que nunca ha usado un aparatito de estos. Y entonces como que uno dice, híjole, para esta tecnología no funciona esta chica, right? Like that, ok? And so, guys, I want you guys to pay attention and um, try to answer these questions. What is the girl want to do? Okay. Who is the owner of the cell phone? Okay. 
And what does she have to do in order to call somebody? ¿Sí? ¿Me entiende la pregunta? ¿Qué quiere hacer la chica? ¿De quién es el celular? ¿Y qué es lo que tiene que hacer para que le salga la llamada? ¿Verdad? Right? Eso es todo lo que quiero que hagan. ¿Verdad? Y hoy sí, Gerardito, I will, do, I will be a really nice girl, teacher, Miguelito, Bori, Carlitos. I'm going to play the audio two, three times, ¿ok? Ok. Ajá. <risa> para que no digan, para que no se quejen después que este teacher es bien mala onda. No. All right. Oh, yeah. There you go. Ok, that's what I want. Así que no se preocupen. All right, guys, very good. The conversation, guys, is the one that says, I give up. You know what I give up means? ¿Qué significa I give up? You know what does it mean? No, no, I don't no, know. No. I give up is me rindo. Me rindo, I give up. I give up. I give up. It's a phrasal verb. I give... Can you spell... Of course, ya lo voy a poner, permítanme. There you go. Okay, that's what I want. Okay. Es un phrase over que se escribe I give, give up. Si ustedes se fijan, give es un verbo que significa dar, ¿verdad? Y yes. up normalmente mm. es para arriba, right? Mm -hmm. Así como la película, up. Pero cuando usted, acuerda que los phrasal verbs se unen con dos palabras o más, o más de dos, ¿verdad? En este caso, veíamos phrasal verb the two words, o los two word verbs. Entonces, give up, cuando usted une la palabra give up, significa darse por vencido. I give up. Me rindo. Entonces, si usted dice, nunca me rindo, I never give up. ¿Sí? I never give up. I'm continue working. Entonces, en inglés, you never give up, guys. Okay. Nunca se rinde. Okay. Never give up. You gotta move forward. Move forward seguir adelante. You gotta move forward and continue doing your best. Okay? Very good. Okay. You learn okay. a, new, a new phrase of her. Give up. Yeah. No, get up. Get up es levantarse. Give up es tirar la toalla. Never give up. Nunca tirar la toalla. Very good. Excellent. So let's listen to the conversation, guys. And I want you guys to try to uh, answer the questions that I formulated, okay? Las tres questions. ¿Cuáles eran? ¿Cuáles eran las tres sí. questions? ¿Qué quiere la chica? ¿Qué quiere hacer? Chica? Ajá. Chica. ¿De quién era el teléfono? Ajá. Ah. ¿Y? ¿Qué debe de hacer ¿Qué? para llamar? Yes, it is. Very good. Exactly. Y Alex el ¿Qué me fue? Just dizzy. All right, guys, let me play the audio. All right, there you go. Exercise seven, conversation. I give up. Part A. Listen and practice. I give up. I can't figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now type in the name of your playlist. Then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. But how do I choose the songs? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to press these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thanks! Ajá, si ustedes se fijan, el chico, ¿quiere hablar a alguien? No, no. Ajá. está buscando ah, para música. Ajá. Playlist. Ajá, muy bien, muy bien. Si ustedes ya han querido bajar playlist en su celular y tener las favoritas para en, en aquella de emergencia de parties going on, right? No. Entonces, es por ahí va la cosa. Ok. I don't have yet. Ah, espéreme, espéreme. Second time, second listening. Uh, no, 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 teacher, I don't eh. have yet in my phone. Ah, pero, ¿sabes qué? Esto te va a ayudar a, a saber cómo hacerlo. <laughs> All right, so second time, guys. Uh -huh. Ah, no, yo no le voy a compartir eso. Nel. 
<risa> Ay, ¿por qué no lo vi? No le tomé un screenshot. No way. Yes, Page 47, <laughs> exercise 7, conversation. I give up. Part A, listen and practice. I give up. I can't figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now type in the name of your playlist. Then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. But how do I choose the songs? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to press these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thanks. So are you coming on Saturday? Of course. But don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? All righty. Hmm. One more time. Page 47, Exercise 7, Conversation. I give up. Part A. Listen and practice. I give up. I can't figure this out. What's wrong? I'm trying to create a song playlist for my party on Saturday. I can help. It's really easy. First, Choose new playlist from the menu. Here? Oh, I see. Now type in the name of your playlist. Then go to your song file and choose the ones you want. But how do I choose the songs? Just drag them to the playlist. Be sure to press these keys to highlight more than one song. That was easy. Thanks. So are you coming on Saturday? Of course. But don't forget to include my favorite songs on your playlist, okay? Okay, guys. So, may I ask you something? What's the problem? You can't figure the correct song, the playlist. Aha, uh -huh, but, but uh, before, yeah, before do that, what is the problem? What does he have to do on Saturday? A party. a party he has a party yes and maybe he's a dj i don't have any idea but yeah. he's worried about the songs right that we're gonna listen on the party so uh, he uh he, that's his trouble right his, his situation and what does he want to do he quiere hacer él. Pero is he a technology man? No, no, no not at all, all right? Mm -mm. No, Dice, no, no. Entonces, ¿a quién le ayuda? The girl, the girl, his friend, his friend exactly. And he guide and she guide him, right? Y le dice los steps by steps, right? Step step. Oh my God, ya me siento bien new kids on the block. Step <laughs> by step, remember? <laughs> Baby. Okay, teacher, going back, going back to the class. Okay, démosle pues. <laughs> okay, entonces, you, you need to do this, this, and this, and this, ¿verdad? Y al final, ¿qué dice él? That was right. easy, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. 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 Y digo, qué tan fácil. Y yo, hmm, medio va con la tecnología, ¿no? Furulo, dice. All right, very good. Pero si ustedes vieron también, él, es, él hizo, él en su expresión de que estaba, que ya no aguantaba, que ya no podía, él dijo, I give up, I get up. pero también dijo otra frase, I can figure I this know. out. ¿Se recuerdan? No yes. I, pero él dijo, I give up, I can figure this out. Así dijo él. Entonces, no, 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 no. otro phrase <laughs> over, miren, I can Figure this out. Figure this out. Miren, chicos. El phrasal verb es figure out. ¿Sí? Pero acuérdense que es un this. Entonces es un pronombre, right? Pero acuérdense que es un pronombre demostrativo. ¿Se recuerdan? This, this, that, and those. ¿Sí? I can figure this out. En otras palabras, dice. No, en otras palabras es como decir, no le hallo a esto. No le hallo. Me rindo, no le hallo. No puedo. 
I give up. I can't figure this out. No le hallo. ¿Sí? ¿Me entienden? Y como es un pronombre, ¿se recuerdan que va en medio de las dos partes? Del verb yes. y el particle. ¿Ya? Yeah? Entonces, ven, ya aprendieron otro phrasal verb. Figure out. Puede decir, I can figure this out or I can figure it out. Puede ser this or it, dependiendo. Very good. ¿Qué les What parece? I can figure it out or I can figure this out. Significa, no le hallo. Mm. En otras okay. palabras, cuando usted, por eh, ejemplo, va a hacer algo, el, ¿no? El only figure it out. Only... Sí, figure it out or figure this out, sí. Pero uh, uh, en este caso, en este contexto, significa eso. Encuentra cómo hacer. Sí. De, pues sí, sí porque está hablando de algo en específico. Exactly, exactamente. Ya de, y acuérdense que los phrasal verbs tienen un montón de meaning dependiendo del contexto. Pero en este caso, significa eso. Ok, hoy sí voy a ser buena onda y le voy a mostrar el dialogue. Pero por, ah. un, eh, pero por un, hoy sí, Alex. Now, yes. <laughs> All right. So let me share with you. Okay. Vaya, ven que voy. Bueno, onda. Vaya, miren, aquí está, ¿eh? ¿Verdad? Sí, tan fácil como esto. Ash, dicen. Miren, pero quiero que se fijen en algo que vamos a estar viendo ahorita. Aquí okay, ya yes, there we go. Vaya, miren. Miren, aquí está, ¿ve? Aquí lo que les, miren lo que les dije. I can figure this out, ¿ve? Ahí está. Pero miren lo que pasa. Lo que quiero que ustedes se focus, guys, es cuando ella empieza a darle como los steps para poder hacer el playlist al chico, en ese caso a Terry. Ajá. Miren lo que dice. First, shoes. Shoes. Shoes es elegir. Choose, ex elige. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Elige a new playlist from the menu. Oh, I see. Now, type in the same name of your playlist. Uh -huh. Selecciona el, el new playlist y después le pone el nombre, ¿verdad? Después le dice, then go to your song file. Y otra vez, mire, and choose mm -hmm. the ones you want. But how do I choose the ones? Just drag then be sure okay and don't forget miren chicos ¿por qué creen que he estado señalando todos estos más que todo con verde a excepción del primero que es un phrasal verb ¿por qué? because are imperative. imperative exacto si ustedes se fijan en los imperatives miren yo no tengo sujeto ¿lo ven? Porque obviamente el sujeto está implícito. Si ella está hablando con él, le tengo que decir, you choose. No, oh, vea. No, choose. No es, no es lógico, ya, ya sabes que estás hablando con él o con esa persona. Entonces, solamente tenés que darle como comandos o direcciones. Pero si ustedes se fijan, eh, eh, ¿verdad que no suena como pesado cuando ella le va dando los steps? No, ¿No suena pesado. No. no, ¿verdad? Si no. ustedes se fijan, le está guiando, no le está diciendo, mira, ay, sí, que qué bárbaro, que no entendés vos, que mm, es nulo con la tecnología, ay, papitos, eso es tan fácil. No, le dicen, first, choose a new playlist from the menu, mira, y después dice, now, type, ven cómo va ella, ella ocupando tanto los infinitives como a la, en esta vez, en este caso, los imperatives. Porque mi, miren aquí, Miren aquí, esta, esta parte, esta sentence, con esta sentence, tiene el be sure, que tiene el imperative, pero miren, tiene el infinitive también, lo ven. Yes. Uh -huh. to press. Be sure to press, ¿verdad? To press. Ajá. Y miren aquí también, please don't forget to include, miren, to include. Puede ser. Imperative puede ser tanto positivo, como be sure, como negativo. Don't forget. Ven que lo podemos usar el imperative y el infinitive together. Y miren, tanto en be sure to press, como don't forget to include, ella es, le está guiando o le está dando una sugerencia? Está guiando. Guiando y a la vez, ¿qué está haciendo también? 
Sugiriendo. Sugiriendo. Pero ven que la, cuando alguien sugiere algo utilizando imperative más infinitive, ¿verdad que no suena pesado? No. no. Suena como bien polite, ¿verdad? Yes. ¿Ve? Entonces, eso es lo que yo quiero que vean. Que cuando ustedes utilizan los dos, la sugerencia se oye mejor. Uh -huh. ¿Sí? Entonces, cuando usted... Pero, pero primero tienen que saber... Cómo, cómo, qué función desempeña un imperativo y qué función desempeña un infinitivo para que cuando los unan vean cómo, cómo uno puede decir la misma cosa pero de manera más educada. En este caso, usando infinitive and imperative. Pero acuérdense que si usted quiere dar una sugerencia, lo primero va a ser el infinitive y después va, perdón, el imperative y después va a ser el infinitive. Be sure to press. Don't forget to include, ¿sí? No me va a usar primero el infinitivo y después el imperativo, no. Primero es el imperativo, miren. Y después el infinitivo. ¿Estamos bien hasta ahí? Yes. Yes, yes right? Interesting, ¿verdad? Interesante. Yes, yes. Ya ve. Ya ve que en inglés se puede decir muchas cosas y de manera más chévere. Ajá. Exactly. Eso es lo que yo quiero que vean. Muy bien. Por ejemplo, eh, si yo le digo, ¿usted quiere uh, mejorar en inglés? Be sure to practice with your friends. ¿Sí? Asegúrese de practicar con sus amigos. Make sure to use a dictionary. Don't forget to think in English. Remember to do your English homework and try to pronounce properly. Son sugerencias. Yes. Okay. yes. ¿Le sonó pegado? No. 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 So polite. Mm -hmm. Pero imagínese si yo le digo, study your verbs. Bueno, si escuela, esta teacher, ¿qué le pasó? ¿Se levantó con el espíritu izquierdo o qué? Pero mm -hmm. si yo le digo, please guys, make sure to study your verbs. ¿Hay una diferencia? Yes. 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 En el meaning, tal vez no, ¿verdad? Porque suena lo mismo. Pero what is the difference between make sure, uh, study your verbs, make sure to study your verbs. What's it's the difference? Polite. It's more polite. It's, it's not rude, right? Eso sí. You gotta focus, guys, on the tone of voice. El, el tono de voz. Porque si yo dice, usted dice, hey, make sure to study your verbs. Ahí sí, ya tampoco. It was, ala, so gonna have it. No. Make sure to study your verbs, right? Okay. Es una sugerencia. No es algo que se impone. ¿Sí? ¿Ven la diferencia? ¿Ven cómo imperativos e infinitivos tienen su función separada? But when you join them, cuando los unes, te ayuda a expresarte mejor. Entonces, chicos, de hoy en adelante, quiero que empiecen a practicar todo eso. ¿Me parece? Guys, tell, may I tell you something? Oh. It's time to go. Oh, goodness. It's not really It's not a clock. Yes, it's not a clock. Yeah, time passed really fast, right? Yes. Yeah. Well, I'm sorry, guys. But <laughs> I know. Don't worry. Uh, on... On this week, I think on Thursday, we're going to do a recap of everything that we have seen so far. And at the same time, guys, we're going to double check Carlito's question. I forgot to do it yesterday, but we're going to do it on, on Thursday about his question on section five. Guys, how are you right now in the platform exercise? Have you worked on the platform or no yeah. yet? Yes. 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 In yes. which section yes. you are right now? Did you finish or no? No. No, I'm section three. Three, three, section three. Three, three. section three. 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 three, section four. Three. I think Carlitos is still section five. Can you imagine? He's a Albert Einstein yeah. grand song. Oof. Uh. El bisnieto de Albert Einstein. Wow. No, no, no teacher. I'm uh, just teasing uh, you, Carlitos. Only study the Saturday and Sunday. Ah, uh, no, no, Monday, Tuesday, uh, every week. And, no, no, no. I, I know. But we're, go we're going to sure. review, see? ¿sí? Lo vamos a revisar. Dime, Alex. My friends, Carlos, give us the next class. <laughs> what? Carlitos? Yeah. Ah. 
Uh, it's hell you. Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Ah, yes. It's going to be my right hand. Okay, guys. So let's let's finish this class with some sentences to practice, right? So practice what we have seen. Y espero que cada uno me diga por lo menos una antes de terminar la clase. Let me start. Guys, please make sure to sleep early tonight. Oh, okay. Ajá. ¿Quién va? Gracias, Gerardito. Thank you. <laughs> What? Uh, I give up. I never give up study English. I never give up to study English. Never, Very never good. Mm -hmm. All right. Nelsie, now it's your turn, girl. Mm -hmm. I, I can figure, figure can, no, this. No, can't. Ken, acuérdate Kent. que el imperativo es sin un sujeto. Al, algo que ah. quieras sugerirle a tus compañeros antes de terminar la clase. Um, uh, I, um, can no give it up. Don't give up. To study. Don't, don't give up. Don't give up to study. English? Very good. Yeah, that's a good one. Very good. Good suggestion. Okay. Nubi, what about you? Yeah. Uh, remember, remember practice the pronunciation. Remember to practice the pronunciation. Very good. Alex. Mm. Ah. I then. I then. <laughs> I find <laughs> um, I I uh, um, I don't use I. I I never give up to study English. Ah no, ese ya lo ya se ya lo dijo. Nelsi, no se vale. Nelsi, ve, no seas copión. <laughs> no, <laughs> no. Puede, si puedes decir remember qué, okay. remember to what, recuerden qué, remember to what, to what, no, no sé, uh, remember, remember to remember to what um, is important, continue studying. Very good, ese me llegó, very good, Dinita, what about you? Remember to to breakfast. To have breakfast. Okay, uh -huh. very good. Uh -huh. sí, eso se lo voy a decir a Bree. <laughs> Bree, please you, don't sleep. Remember not to sleep in class. <laughs> 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 uh, okay guys please study okay to pass next coming saturday test saturday no thursday thursday test yes. okay guys don't forget to eat something before you go to bed okay mm -hmm. <laughs> all right hi yes. and he says Bye-bye. 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 Bye-bye.